Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your AMD GPU, so your Radeon card, with the Radeon software. Uh, the, the, the Radeon software is pretty basic for overclocking, so you can get like a nice boost without risking too much, uh, but you can download more powerful tool on the web to really unlock all the potential of your card. Uh, with those kind of overclock on Radeon software, you can get like 6 to 12% boost uh, on your whatever benchmark score or even FPS. So let's start with the overclocking. So you need to go to the performance section and the tuning section. So I recommend to enable everything. So enable the GPU tuning, the advanced control, same thing with the VRAM, uh, same thing with your fan, same thing with your power tuning. Really important to also activate the advanced control because you want to see the megahertz you don't want to see percentage uh percentage it's not very uh precise so i don't like to use that another thing that i will recommend if you have 3d mark download the benchmark uh, we're going to use time spy uh if you don't have 3d mark or and you don't want to buy it i recommend superposition from uni engine download the the latest version and the thing is, each time you will do an overclock, you want to benchmark it and to look at your score. You want always to uh, to have a better score because sometimes it's yes, it can be stable on your computer, but you can't lose FPS or a benchmark score uh, when you do an overclock. So it's really important to test it. Just to show you an, a quick example, I start with a stock um, 5,900 and my uh, video card at 17,806 points. And now I'm running at something like 19.048. So it's pretty good, like more than 1,000 upgrade just with some small tweaking in the Radeon software. So this is for the benchmark. So let's start with the overclocking. The first step that you should do uh, is, first of all, uh, maybe enable your fan tuning. So just click enable. Just be by doing that, by default, it will be a little bit more aggressive. So you will maybe air it. And also you can go a little bit more aggressive if you want. The goal is to have lower temperature, to have better boost clock when you do an overclocking. So this is pretty much a setup that I'm currently using. I'm going to probably optimize it a little bit more aggressive because this is more like when you just click enable and this is the default that they give you. Another thing I want to talk is uh, power tuning. This one is really tricky. When I go at maximum power tuning, I was losing FPS and also I was losing uh, benchmark score so you will need to tweak it with your voltage that i will talk later so the first thing that you need to do uh for me um it's the vram put your vram at maximum so 2150 again really depend on your video card uh it all the stats that you will see here will change me it's a 6900 xt uh and even if you have the same card and me the result will not be the same each card are different so really important so the VRAM, put it on max, do a stress test, look at the stability of your computer. A lot of AMD card can go at maximum over here. And uh, after that, just benchmark, you will see an improvement. That's good. If it's, you have issue, problem with stability, just lower it like each 25 megahertz maybe and test it like that. Another thing that is really important to activate, it's your memory timing. Do the fast timing. It will tight your timing on your VRAM. After that, we're going to go to the GPU tuning. I did a lot of tests, uh, testing like the power limit, max frequency. And honestly, the best way to have uh, more FPS and better benchmark score will be your voltage. So your voltage, this is not your pure voltage. It's more like an offset, like a negative offset. So just lower this one and test your system. You will see that you're getting uh, more FPS and more benchmark and more score benchmark sorry when you lower this you will have like better temperature and stuff like that and you will see that you hit a lot more your maximum frequency boost clock so this is why this one is really really important me the, the best combination i saw was 1136 with five percent more in my power limit when i go higher i'm losing fps when i go lower i'm losing fps so this is pretty much wh what you can test i see a lot of people in the internet also that do using uh, power limit between two and eight they don't go too crazy with it so just do your tests for, so this is pretty much for the voltage after that you have minimum frequency and you have the maximum frequency the, the one thing that i want to mention 
Minimum frequency always put something like uh, minus 150, 150 megahertz lower than my max. Why I'm doing that? Honestly, in all like big games like Warzone, uh, pff, Battlefield, whatever, you don't really need that. Uh, you will run your card at full potential. But I see games like League of Legends, on showdown this is two example that i have my uh, video card was like clocking at 1000 1100 it's like the video card didn't know that I was playing a game and i was losing a lot of fps because of that so that's why i'm putting my minimum frequency uh, 150 megahertz lower than my max now you're seeing my max a little bit higher but uh that's why i'm doing it so now when i'm playing showdown on showdown uh, I always run at 2,457, so it gave me like 35 to 40% more in my FPS. So that's why I always use my minimum frequency. But it will not change anything when you're doing 3D Mark Benchmark, uh, UD Engine, and stuff like that. After that, you have the max frequency. This one, you can go a little bit higher if you want to test it. Uh, look at your voltage, so, uh, uh, underclock a little bit. Put your power limit a little bit higher. Go with a maximum frequency that you can like do 25 megahertz jump and test it. You will see it anyway when you do 3D Mark and Uni Engine. Do you hit this max frequency or you're far from it? Uh, it can help you a little bit with your benchmark score. But honestly, I didn't see a big improvement in games when I look at my FPS. The most important uh, feature here is the voltage. Go uh, the, the maximum that you can go. So really, like, if you can do minimum, do it. But uh, for me, it's 1,136. After that, I'm getting some freeze and uh, artifact and stuff like that. Another thing that I want to mention is the smart access memory. This one is really important if you have, like, a Ryzen 5000 series and uh, a latest version of your GPU. You can do the smart access memory. I, do a, I did a couple of tests with this one. Uh, you can get 5% to 12%, and in some even game, like I mean, I can get 15% uh, more FPS. So this one, it's a huge thing. Uh, to be able to enable it in your Radeon, you will need to go to your BIOS. You will look, need to look at different the brand like Asus, Gigabyte, and stuff like that. They have two options that you need to activate it. Go on the AMD website, they will show you what to do, but it's very de de depending on the brand that you have for your motherboard. After that, you will see that it's enabled uh, over there. Before, you didn't see it, so you do your thing in your BIOS and you didn't know like if your smart access memory was, was activated, but now they just activate like some kind of flag that you can see that you're using it and this will help. It will not necessarily help you with benchmark, but it will help you with video games. So that's about it, guys, uh, for the overclocking in the uh, Radiant software. Uh, you can't use more tool on, on the internet that will uh, unlock the uh, power limit that will give you access to your voltage. But those are more risky. It's, it's for another guide. So if you just want to do a simple overclocking to get more FPS for your money, this is the way to do it with Radiant software without like risking anything. So that's about it. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me uh, any question about overclocking and also your video card, what type and also which brand, because I will see which kind of cooler that you have on it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.